then, as January gets underway, you might be wondering what the year has in store. But according to recent headlines, high-flying women are now turning to a new type of psychic to find out. Although forget crystal balls and all of that, these psychics are called intuitive therapists or psychic counsellors and they're reportedly in big demand. They're psychics but not as you'd imagine. Intuitive therapists claim they can offer highly personal advice for their clients based on insights gained from their sixth sense. It's what attracted mother of three, Adina Stubbs. The reason I decided to see a psychic therapist is because um, I'm a working mum, things were getting on top of me, I, I was struggling with things in life a couple of minutes in the room and, and she knew exactly how I was um, thinking and how I was feeling. Celebrity fans of psychic therapy are said to include Jennifer Aniston, Demi Moore and Nicole Kidman and even Harrods and Selfridges now offer a service. In a poll on our website, nearly four in ten of you said you'd turn to a psychic for life and career advice, but not everyone is convinced. I wouldn't go and see a psychic therapist because um, I'm a bit of a sceptic and I'd want to see some scientific evidence. I don't think they're real. Um, I understand they're trying to help people, but me personally, yeah, I don't agree with it. I don't believe in all that kind of stuff and I don't think I'd believe in what they were telling me. I think it'd be interesting to see what they had to say, however I'm not really sure whether I'd buy into it or not. I think I would go and see a psychic therapist, purely out of curiosity. It sounds very interesting and new and something different. I'm with me now, psychic therapist Susan Kennard. She's here with sceptic professor Chris French. Thank you both for, for coming in. It was interesting what that lady said at the end, it's new and everybody's always looking for new, aren't they? And they're always looking for a quick fix. Um, where does psychic therapy and, and differ from just normal therapy? I think the difference in the way that I work is I use emotional freedom technique, which is the tapping, a bit like Paul McKenna uses. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, and yeah. so I use my psychic ability alongside my psychology, my psychotherapy, and the EFT, which is so powerful. So a combination of all of that together right. allows somebody to feel empowered. You could understand, though, that a lot of people say this is just women with more money than sense. It seems to be women who are wealthy. You know, we just saw Jennifer Aniston there, for example, who allegedly um, is interested in this. And, and we've talked about some high flyers. Mm -hmm. You know, is, is it just all about that? Is it just that they want the newest thing and they'll, they'll just pay? No, I think people are looking for something that they realise they need to empower themselves more nowadays. They don't have to take a pill always. They feel that they need something else to enhance their life or clear some emotions, some unwanted emotions that they've had perhaps from childhood. So if I went to see you and mm. I sat down, would you be able to tell me what's wrong with me without me telling you? I'd be able to sit with you and talk to you and I'm given intuition about where we would start our session. So you might have come with a bad back or some aches and pains, but I would then be given my intuition where we would start and it would be an emotional causal reason of why you feel that way. Okay, so what do we think? Well, it's not new. I mean, people have always gone to see psychics sure. with their problems. There's no evidence whatsoever that these people actually do have any kind of psychic abilities. Um, EFT is a totally unproven technique based on... It's a tapping thing. The tapping right. thing, yeah, and there's no scientific underpinnings for it whatsoever. So, so but, uh, that's no. not to say that perhaps Susan actually genuinely does help her clients. It yeah, depends on the quality of the evidence that she gives them, no, absolutely. Uh, the, uh, the advice that she gives them. No, just, it's not exactly, it's not going to harm anyone, is it? Apart from their bank balance, but it's it, not going to harm it, Well, them. up to £250 a session, that's, that's quite worth yeah. taking into account. And also, I mean, again, I'm sure, again, this is not directed at Susan, but if someone is, for example, given advice about a medical issue by somebody who isn't medically qualified, mm. then that could potentially be dangerous. And, and again, it's the quality of the, of the advice that's the really important thing at the end of the day. No, it's very much so. I mean, it's a massive responsibility mm -hmm. that you have, isn't it? Yes, absolutely, and I take it very seriously. And I work with veterans with post-traumatic stress, and I work with people that are really traumatised. Mm. So I'm not about telling them their future. I'm helping them find a way to move forward. Right. And with EFT, we clear our energy fields, and therefore we don't need someone to tell us what to do or where to go. I mean, this we whole notion of clarity. energy fields is completely unfounded. There's no scientific basis for it whatsoever. Um, it's, it's similar to kind of ideas about qi and Chinese medicine, acupuncture, etc. And the, the, if you look at the actual evidence, I mean, for a start, there have been very few attempts to actually do proper outcome studies. But the, 
the, the evidence that is there doesn't really support that we're getting anything more here than a, than a placebo effect. Now, mm. again, if people go to see Susan and they believe in her technique, they may genuinely feel better afterwards. Mm. The question is, is it worth any better than just talking to a friend down at the pub discussing your problems? Sure. So that's what most of us would do. Better be a bank balance. I think, I think we can talk and talk and talk, and I'm not a counsellor and I'm not that kind of therapist. I talk for a few moments, but then we start by clearing the emotions, the unwanted emotions, mm. that usually come from the primitive brain. So early childhood experiences and sometimes before that. And when we clear that through travelling back, really, to that moment and that memory, we clear everything else that gets in our way. Okay. Okay. I mean, I mean, you have to look at the evidence base, and mm. the, the evidence just doesn't support the use of these kinds of techniques. Fascinating. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.